Our first guest joins me in studio. Wayne Irving is the CEO of Monster Arts Incorporated. APPZ is their stock symbol. Wayne, it's great to see you again. Hey, you too, Don. It's great to be back. Well, we announced a reinitiation of coverage of the company last week. Had a Thank little you. bit of a teaser phone interview last week, so we're really happy to have you in the studio. Uh, for those who might not have seen times that we've talked to you before, tell us again what the company's all about. You know, Monster Arts was uh, was founded, uh, you know, when I took over the company, with the with the idea of focusing on safety apps for children and families. Uh, a lot of what we did was driven by our our uh, um, our fondness for using GPS technologies to to determine all kinds of things, you know, whether your child is traveling outside a allowable perimeter, you know, being able to find your child or the child being able to find the parent or, you know, being able to track how fast your child is traveling, your teenager in a, in a vehicle. Uh, and so we've, uh, or track your senior citizen, uh, your, your, maybe your parent that may have some mental cognitive issues, but they're still allowed to drive. Uh, you know, we have, uh, we've built a lot of, you know, built over 60 games. Uh, you know, we've done a lot of work for about 45, 50 clients of significant size, and 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 we've just recently, as I've uh, we've spoke before, taken a corner and uh, taken this technology, everything we've we've learned, uh, to go after what we think is the hottest industry in the world right now, and uh, and that's why I'm so glad to be back on your show. I love the content. I love being able to share this information with our shareholders, and, and appreciate you giving me the opportunity. Well, it's a different world that we live in now. When we were kids, of course, you know. You had to be home by the time the street lights came on. That was a big deal. And now, of course, parents are much more concerned with their kids' whereabouts. And as you mentioned, not only kids, but seniors and that type of thing. Just about everybody has a smart device in their pocket. And so your technology lets parents know and, and concerned people know where these folks actually are at any given time. Yeah, no, it's, it, we, we've, what we've done in the past, we've gone way further than simple friend-finding uh, apps, you know, that you, you have on or phone locating apps. And we've gone in a direction where we wanted to provide a more finite uh, group of services that were specifically designed, for example, for you know our app uh, that we developed a few years ago called Tell My Geo. It was in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, it was a huge feature in the Florida Hospital News ma uh, Magazine uh, a couple of years ago. And it, it, we wanted to give uh, adult children a means to be able to track their, their elderly parents because uh, we have a lot of that right here in Orange County, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with uh, with uh, Leisure World and everything right over here. There's 55,000 seniors over there. A lot of them, I mean, I'm starting to forget things. So a lot of them have these mental cognitive, you know, impairments where they're, they, they have no problem driving, but sometimes they, they'll get to the gas station and forget how to get home. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and um, so we've had some great success with working with uh, a group, you know, a group of advisors that, that helped us put those types of apps together, whether it was that app or the one where we track teenagers that first get their license uh, and um, and uh, you want to monitor and make sure they're not speeding or out you know after hours that they're supposed to be out. But what we've done is we've taken these technologies and we've figured out that the hottest industry in the world right now as far as growth and technology is this drone space. Mm -hmm. And drones uh, you know, drones are, are really creating a, ser a sense of public fear uh, and people are, uh, you know, the government's ignoring it. And so we've got meetings uh, set up. We're, we're um, you know, two weeks ago I was with the, in, in Phoenix. Um, a month ago I was uh, had a discussion with the, you know, future presidential candidate, uh, hopeful uh, Jeb Bush. You can see the video on my website of me, Jeb and uh, Mr. Bush and I talking. Uh, specifically about uh, his position on drones and uh, and the FAA's rules that they've put out that they're really not doing it. They just put a simple set of rules out that specifically talk about the opposite of what every other state seems to be talking about. For example, the FAA's rules say that drones, lightweight commercial and personal drones, should fly under 500 feet. Well, there's a bill before the California State Assembly that they're, they're putting together that drones are supposed to fly above 500 feet. Oh, so, so there's such a lack of communication between cities, regional governments, city governments, state governments, and the FAA. And here we've got Amazon sneaking in right now, right. and they're already delivering pro products in Baltimore, Miami, and New York wow. City using drones. They're yeah. literally, they have this new pr project called Amazon Now. Have you heard about it? Yeah, I have. It's like you can order anything at any hour and get it delivered to your home, dropped in your driveway in 30 minutes. I mean, it's, 
It's I mean, fantastic. It's, 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 it's become the Jetsons, and you know, it's, it's, amazing. it's, it's right yes. in front of us. You know, I know people are concerned about drones. They're concerned about them interfering with commercial aircraft. Exactly. They're, they're into, uh, concerned about interfering with personal privacy. Is a Absolutely. drone flying over your backyard, keep looking at your kids, this kind of thing. Yep. So specifically, we got about a minute left. But what does your app do with respect well, we're, to drones? Well, what we're working on, what we've done is we've 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 got all these GPS technologies that we've written uh, over the last three years, and what we figured out is that we have built the system to track drones in the United States. Okay. There is no, the drones are so small they can't be picked up on radar. So there has to be an ulterior system to be able to track the location of these drones. Mm -hmm. You know, that drone crashed into the White House lawn a couple of months ago. Imagine if there was something, you know, something devastatingly, you know, something on, attached to that thing right. and flow into the White House. You know, I mean, the whole country would be in an uproar, and, and they're, just nobody's doing it. The European Union's already moving in, in the right direction. They're, they, they've, you know, they're setting up a tracking system. The United States is not doing it. We feel like the technology that we built with Trigger Tracker and My Max Speed will install on the drone operator's phone and, and be able to report back to our systems which can be monitored by a government official, the location of the drone operator and the drone itself. And I think that's the most important thing, is not just where the drone is, but where is that operator that yeah. may be doing something unforeseen, you know, something bad with that drone, so. Once again, the company's Monster Arts Incorporated, APPZ is their stock symbol. Their website is monsterarts.net. I wish we had a whole show to talk about this, but we are out of time, but we will have you back on soon. Uh, exciting, thanks for joining thanks. us. Thanks, yeah, I'm sorry I'm a little long-winded today. It's great to be back, thanks.